Hi morning guys, this is day 8 of our circuit breaker. I'm uh, out to get some essential items because supplies at home is running really low. I need to come out and get some grocery, okay? And also to get my meals for today. La. I'm at Hong Lim Market and Food Centre. It's where I'm going to get my meals from this guy, uh, Kwa Abing. He's also known as Jason Chua, okay? He's the Bing who cooks, the man behind Bing who cooks. So what he has been doing recently is he has been offering free meals to those who are in need. I'm going to help him lah today to deliver some of these meals. I'm going to check whether he's ready. all good to go. Check this out. So a total of 33 meals. Ah. I'm going to start delivering now. Okay. It's quite heavy. Ah. Okay, I'm going to make a few trips. <laughs> I cannot talk. It's quite heavy. It's damn heavy. I've arrived at uh, my destination with all these yummy meals. Ah. This is actually a uh, paid delivery. A shout out to all the delivery guys out there during this circuit breaker because it's really not easy. Uh, carrying all these and they are doing it on a daily basis so I want to like encourage all of them out there uh, to again appreciate uh, uh. wow okay guys mission accomplished I'm going to take my lunch now okay so for the record thank you Jason Abeng for providing my lunch uh, is FOC on him uh. he also uh, paid me for the delivery job uh, okay I must I must say yeah uh, because it's all transparent one okay so I gonna eat now see you later bye I'm very happy to have Jason Chua with me on Skype because now it's circuit breaker period, right? So there's really no chance to meet up with him and and uh, have a good chat. Lah. But yeah, earlier I did a delivery for him, right? So boss, what do you think of the job done? It's good, lah, it's good. I did really well. Lah. Like, although we never get label, a couple customer ordered 33 bowl, but we never label anything. But the fact that the customer not angry means Maybe it's not me, maybe it's the delivery guy, which is you did well, I think. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we want to learn more about the initiative you started, which is Bing Who Care Foundation. Yes. Right? So before that, can you tell us a bit more about yourself? I'm 28 this year. Just, I started Bing Who Cooks two years ago. Ah. Yeah, uh, it's now like two years, one month already for Bing Who Cooks the age. But this Bing Who Cares Foundation is only one week plus it's a very new initiative mm. and the response has been a bit too overwhelmed already nowadays. <laughs> yeah, that's why we prioritize those we feel is really needed by our instinct instead. So what made you want to start this foundation? Uh, it's because of a random man. Uh. On a uh. on, before the circuit break, right, on Saturday, my friends, they all were at a coffee shop. Uh, I'm not there. La. Then they were just drinking coffee, beer. Then they have this man was just walking around asking for money. Then they just give him $2 because the table has $2. Then the man went to buy goreng pisang and coffee. Then they saw this man eat, right? It broke their heart. Then that's where he texted me to get everything running and started all the finance backing, all came in, logo. So things just went well. The way the man eat, it's not the okay. way that he asked for money, it's the way he eat, right? It broke his heart. Okay. So how, how you mean, as in he eat very fast? Yeah, he, the way he explained is like, he really like, it's just like he swallowed the whole thing so, so fast. Okay, because you said you have a lot of friends coming in to help you, right? Yes. Uh, within a week, then you got a lot of things running. But other than that, what are the challenges uh, that you have faced so far? A few challenges is, mm. the first one is pe demanding people coming to demand meals instead of requesting for meals. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the way they demand is not very nice. Like, it's like, uh, I want a meal, lunch and dinner, both at different time, come, to, come two times a day, weekend or so. Of course, like, it's... Like, to if you talk to us like this, right? of course, we are doing charity. So we'll tell you, right, you want to try this again or not? You are a bit rude. Oh. Uh, and then they will tone down. But once, once you really start off on the wrong track, right, you are off the book already. Lah. But we still help you. We'll give you one meal. But we will not, we will not give you the whole, throughout the whole period. Another what? thing is, like, more particular is, mm. when you agree to help for delivery especially, 
people uh-huh. have to come because I have a few people who promise to come but they never come because to me mm. it's not whether they come or don't come that's, that hurts it's the hope that we give the other people the family uh-huh. that they requested a meal for that day but you didn't deliver so it gave them a false hope right there that whole day is just waiting for that meal but you didn't go so it caught, pissed me off for that point yeah. especially this second problem is the worst problem to me okay so so if happened that people put you airplane then what is your contingency uh, our Come. last minute driver Jerome, uh. Jerome oh. yeah, he already came down at least two or three times right last minute. Uh. Within 15 minutes, he rushed from house or rushed from wherever he is right to get the job done. Wow, that is a uh, very good support from must be very good friends. Uh. Oh, nice guy, uh. very <laughs> simple, genuine guy. With the circuit breaker, right, uh, that has been inter- implemented so far, how has it impacted your business? Honestly, business hasn't been well for me and Zhen Long since mm. December la, because Christmas, New Year, Chinese New Year, and now COVID. We mm. have been taking a pay cut since then. For, our pay was 1.5, but nowadays, like 700. Then this mm. COVID, I think I'll just tell Zhen Long, hey, let's just take $300 la, <laughs> for, for this month. La. For me, I'm okay because my wife is working as an educator, and then she will still help me in my finance. But, but for Zhen Long, I hope the government helps him uh, because he, he himself is not a well-to-do family. Yeah, and mm. then he's willing to accept a hawker job. So I still care about his well-being instead of it. I still care about his finance difficulty. Uh. Mm. You also mentioned that there is a lot already contribution. A lot of people... Forceful donation. Uh, you also uh, acknowledge that you cannot fulfill so many orders within you know this period of time. How can people contribute to you further from here? Uh, I, mm. We keep saying that we once driver everything, but we did have a lot of people approaching us. Mm. But we just said, okay, we'll keep your number, but because of getting so much aeroplanes stri- striking at us, right, we're a bit fearful because, like I say, I'm more scared that people have their hope, but they don't have their hope at the end of the day. Oh. Yeah, for us, we are giving hope. All of them are just online, and you know, online has a lot of keyboard warriors, so I'm a bit more oh. fearful. There. Yeah, approach you and say, oh, I'll deliver, deliver, but end up. Never come at all. Never Until come today, yeah. The, we are still waiting for his reply for three days already. Where are you? <laughs> I haven't replied. Eh? I think go out buy cigarette, haven't come back. <laughs> you, you mentioned you don't like people to waste food, ma. Yeah. Right. So if you prepare and then by the time three o'clock, four o'clock, still nobody, Jerome suddenly cannot help, then the food might really turn cold and all wasted. Yeah. Not, we right? did throw la, at, at, at huh. first that because Jerome also can come down, but he's, sometimes he, he still has duty. So oh. sometimes he really cannot come down and we cannot find right. We did throw away and so far we did throw away three packets already. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's why I feel I hate it. Lah. Throwing away is more is the my worst enemy. Ah. <laughs> for I think for the amount that you have been doing, three packets is is it's quite nothing, okay. Yeah. La. It's quite okay. okay la. La. <laughs> uh, if you can have like one message for the frontline healthcare workers, uh, as well as our fellow Singaporeans, right, what would that message be? For the front line, right, I would mm. say that uh, for now, I know there's a lot of people donating food and everything. But they, those are all the little tokens that people are trying to say thank you and everything because you guys are really working hard. I have a few friends in the front line. All of them have their leave being taken taken off. They cannot go home. They have to work 48 hours shift sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I pity them for having their wife not able to see their family, their wife, their partner. So really, at least hang in there. La. I know it's really very tough. You, you guys, I'm sure, will be rewarded when the whole CB is over. For the general public, right? It's not really an encouragement, but I would say that stop taking photos of old people like, sitting and breaking the lo- rules. Because if you really stay in the hawker center or if you grew up with old people around you, right, you will realize that a lot of them don't have access to news. They don't have access to internet, not even a 3G phone. All they have is a Nokia phone. And... They don't even, sometimes they are being recorded, they are being scolded, right? They don't even know they are the target. So have a little mercy. If you really want to tell them, tell them nicely. If they get aggressive, walk away. Don't do anything. Don't fight back. Don't argue. Because those old people, their lifestyle, their habit is always there. They're drinking beer, drinking tea for the whole day, whole morning, right? They don't know anything about this COVID at all. Give them the benefit of doubt, right? Don't judge them, don't scold them. Stop taking photos of them, not, not letting them know. The best is also to uh, inform the authority to have the appropriate personnel come yeah. down to advise them. La. 
right. whereas then, like, them nicely instead of just uh. throwing a summon a 300 fine I didn't really notice about these old people until that day we have this Jurong guy right he will always come down the day mm. he was just walking then he, he when he reached our store what I say hey what happened to my table why my table black color because cover your rubbish bin man then we say that you can't see me that you COVID you can't see then he don't even know anything at all because his life is just drinking with friends. Yeah, so I really want the public to understand that not all people has the capa- capability to understand the news or watch the news. So be mindful of everybody and have empathy to anything and everything. Here we have uh, Jason who has been cooking, has been so-called losing money as well, not doing so well, uh, hack it, right? Like, or reset, law. then... Uh, it's a reset be, button. Uh, then, then after that, see how, you know? Yeah. Um, but I can tell that you are, like, enjoying, like, what kept you going is, is fulfilling those orders. You said, walk in, you got to reject. Yeah. Because your pre-order already packed until uh, Wednesday full. Right. Yeah, for now it's Thursday before you. <laughs> okay, I honestly I don't think the food is nice during this period because I don't have all the ingredients to make it very good. Okay. I think mo- three quarter of my orders, business orders, right, are actually uh, just a supportive message for me to k- keep me going instead, lah. Okay, I eat not badly. I quite like it. Okay, now to me I don't <laughs> think so. I have a lot of ingredients, uh, I'm not very happy playing with it, uh. Uh, when this is over, I get to try your. Your more up level, yeah, <laughs> yeah, steady, yeah, steady. steady. Uh, that's all for us from Little Big Red Dot. Thank you, Jason. Thank you for thank you so much. Helping so many people out there. We hope this message sent out is not going to overwhelm you further, but oh, it's, it's more like to have more Jasons. And there's more Zhen Long, inspire others, yeah, influence, yeah, inspire, people. influence people to do what they can do. Like you say, well, it's not only just fill the stomach, but it's to bring people the hope. Yeah, right? it's a hope. It's a hope giving uh-huh. it just for to survive and bring everybody survive together. I've included your Instagram, your Facebook in the video. Bing of Cooks and Bing of Cooks Foundation. Bing of Cares Foundation. Uh, yeah, I put this to you who already. Uh. <laughs> uh, all the best. We keep in touch. Okay, okay thank uh. you. Y'all stay safe. Okay, you too. Yeah. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye.